Hello, and welcome to another edition of Orthopedic Sports Medicine Patient Educational Series with Dr. Adam Durecki. In this video, we're going to discuss the post-operative sling that you will wear after your shoulder surgery. This sling is a specific type of sling called a shoulder abduction pillow. That's because in addition to a sling, it also has a pillow that holds the arm out away from the body. In addition to looking at the sling, we will also discuss how to come out of the sling for basic activities such as showering and dressing, as well as some basic range of motion exercises that we will want you to be doing of the elbow, wrists, and fingers. We've enlisted the help of Carrie from the office in order to go through some of the basic functions of the brace. Most of you know Carrie if you have already discussed your shoulder surgery. So this is the standard post-operative shoulder abduction pillow that you will wear after your shoulder surgery. Again, it has a main sling portion to the, to the brace, as well as a pillow that helps to hold the arm out away from the brace. There are a number of things that you want to keep in mind when adjusting your post-operative shoulder immobilizer. The first thing that I teach patients about this shoulder immobilizer is the position of their hand relative to the elbow. All too often we have patients that come in after their surgery and the hand is positioned well below the elbow. When that happens, it promotes the arm to want to slide out of the front of this sling and it places a lot of pressure right here on the thumb. In order to make adjustments to the height of the hand, you simply adjust the strap that comes up and over top of the neck. By pulling up on the strap, you can readjust the position of the hand so that it is even or level with the elbow. This is a much more supportive position for the sling and will be much more comfortable for patients. The second thing that we want to look at is the, the strap around the waist. Oftentimes, patients ask whether or not the pillow should be all the way around to the side or all the way into the front. As a general rule, we want to place the pillow about halfway between the side and the front in a comfortable 45 degree position. I did not operate on your elbow, wrist, or fingers, and because of that, we don't want the elbow, wrist, or fingers to get stiff. So once or twice a day, I have patients remove the sling to do basic elbow, wrist, and finger range of motion exercises. And in order to do that, you do not have to remove the entire brace. It's simply three straps. So this strap that goes around the thumb, the strap that comes up over the top, and then finally the front button of the strap that goes around the neck. And with this, you are completely out of your sling. At this point, I wanna see that the elbow comes all the way down straight and all the way back up. Make sure you are not cheating and coming short of full extension as this could lead to stiffness in the elbow. When you are done with your range of motion exercises, the elbow goes back into the sling and the clip is reapplied. Important thing to note when putting the sling back on is you want the elbow to be all the way back snug into the back corner of the brace so that it's not sliding too far forward. We then replace the thumb strap and the strap up over the top to keep the elbow in that position. For the thumb strap, you can remove this whenever you want for comfort. In fact, I encourage patients to use their hand with normal activities of daily living. So we want to use the hand for typing or for using the remote or preparing food. What we don't want is for you to be lifting with the hand. So you're not at the grocery store loading up the hand and carrying things with your operative arm. Now we want to talk about showering and removal of the sling as well as dressing. The only time the sling is removed is for showering. In order to shower, you simply remove both of the clips in the front of the sling, and remove it around the neck, as well as the clip in the front. You can then remove the sling in order to shower. Remember, with the waterproof band-aids in place, you can basically let the water go right over the wounds and take a shower normally. What I don't want is for the wounds to go underwater, so I discourage any baths or whirlpools or swimming pools. 
when showering, you can lean the body over to allow the arm to drape out away from the body in order to, to wash up underneath the armpit. After completing showering, before you put the sling back on, you can wear a shirt normally. The key is to start with the sleeve of your operative arm. So in this case, you would start with the right sleeve. You'd simply take the sleeve and snake it up your right arm without lifting the arm up or away from your body. You then can get the left arm in and wear a shirt normally. You can then put the sling on over your clothes and it's much more comfortable this way. I hope this video has helped you to better understand your post-operative shoulder sling and immobilizer. We will go over this sling and abduction pillow in detail the day following your procedure. If you do have any further questions regarding your sling and immobilizer or any of your post-operative exercises, please do not hesitate to contact my office. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Have a good day.